All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at the Playmobil Hawk Knight's Castle. It comes with 198 pieces and it's new for the 2015 series as of the time of this video. It just recently came out in the United States, but it's been out elsewhere for some months. But this is one of the, the newest castles. And as you'll see as I spin this around, it's kind of a medium sized castle. It's not the largest and it's not the smallest that they've done but it is nicely enclosed and has really good shaping to it. It's not a boring rectangle shape. It's not too awkward in the space that it takes up. It still kind of occupies a squarish overall, you know, base area, but it has some interesting shapes to it. Like you've got the whole turret section back here that's really tall, the, the tower, which is rounded. And then you get these interesting angles coming in here, which adds a lot of visual interest that uh, I like. I like just the, the kind of arch architectural uh, considerations there. And it has all the, the most important stuff that you need for a castle, even though it's not the biggest build. In the front, you've got the all important drawbridge, and that is hooked up to a winch system. Just move this knight out of the way temporarily. And I'll show you what this looks like from the other side, but this is able to, to winch on up and it has a ratcheted system, so it'll hold in place and there's a brake on there so if you want to just drop this suddenly <laughs> there you go you pretty much just push a button and it, it just happens this also has another little feature built into it where you can actually break the break the gate basically break it in if you have a battering ram or something it works a little bit more easily than i would like it to it's this section here you can see outlined you can just kind of push that right through you can see how it's not really connected very well and if you even close up, I found, if you even close the, the, the bridge up or the, the gate too quickly, sometimes it'll just fall in. So maybe if you always bring it up slowly and then just leave it angled out just a little bit, I think that, that helps. Maybe some different folks will get ones that, that are a little bit uh, you know, better secured in there, but that's just a way to, to get through the castle defenses. And up top you can see the whole mechanism where you've got your, your windlass to wind this up. And this is the brake and the, the ratcheting system over here. Just push on that and it just lets go and gravity just takes takes over really nicely. And these have, uh, these handles have the, the size just at the end that will actually fit the hands of figures. On either side at the front you have these small turret sections which are large enough to fit a couple of figures and it's a good place to to put uh, watchers and archers up there. You also get the Hawk Knight banner that hangs down. On the other side, for right now, I've installed the little cannon, which can be moved around. It's, it's raised up enough that it can kind of poke over the edge, but you can move this around, and this is a, a real working thing. It's actually loaded up with a projectile there. You just push this from the back. It's not spring-loaded, it's kind of a, a click action. You just push that from the back, and it's gonna shoot out. And it actually shoots pretty straight and far. This is actually a, a hard item, not, uh, not a, a rubber end on it this time, but really easy to use, and they do give you one extra projectile. And again, this can be used anywhere, including on the ground. I like the look of the turret section from behind as well, and you see they give you a little bit of a, a ladder set up there. And there's a balcony that goes around the, the whole edge, so you can pose more of your figures just standing around and that goes around most of the whole thing. You kind of have to hop up here, they don't give you a, a proper ladder, but you can see how they've got the, the wooden plank or simulated wooden plank pieces going all the way around, so that's good. And from up above you can see there's plenty of courtyard space in the center here and a large balcony at the rear. On the first floor is kind of the, the dungeon area, or you could use it for storage. You know, you can kind of make up the story for that as you like, but it does have a lock on it. So however you want to secure it, whether it's good things or bad things that are going to be going to be in there, you can keep it locked up. And this has the two wrought iron gates that open up. A decent amount of space where you can store stuff in there, but you can also access this from the back. Again, you can use your imagination to figure out how you want to, to use this or how you want to see this. It can be a secret entrance where bad guys get in 
or maybe the the king's daughter has a love interest outside of the castle and he's not supposed to be allowed in and this is his secret way to get in or this could be a place where prisoners could escape there's also a, a weapon rack over there where you can put some weapons so i've got a couple of things in there right now one long uh, a pole arm with a with an axe at the at the end of it just a large blade and then also a spare shield but uh, if you're going to have bad guys stored down here you probably don't want to store weapons with them while i'm back here i might as well continue on with the tower on the inside of that there's a, a ladder that will take you up to the the top floor but there's also a little trap door right here which gives access which can again be for escaping or just for trapping an intruder and there's just a handle right here that you can pull that will just open that up and send whatever figure is standing there down into the dungeon section if you want and then the ladder like i said that will go up to the top but that can also be retracted away so up on the, the top floor you can see you can just pull that up you can actually leave it halfway out like this or you can just remove it all together just again gives you some different options depending upon what you want to do there and that's your access hatch and this is a, a great place to just look over the whole thing as well as beyond the castle and then looking at all that from the front side of it you have another locked door here that's iron in construction so that can be a place where you can trap somebody or you can store you know treasures in there whatever you want to do again using your own imagination now there's also this thing that you've seen kind of swinging around it's a, a prison cell a hanging prison cell over here and the it's kind of like a, a birdcage kind of kind of style and this opens up over here but of course if you've got a prisoner in there they're not going to want to escape from here because it's going to be kind of rough they're going to fall you know they're suspended up in the air you can kind of move this around how you want you can actually bring it over by the the balcony section over here and it has a line connected to it so you can you've got a handhold here you can put that in the hand of a figure to show that they're either hoisting it up or maybe letting it down and there's another one of those handholds that's in the the top boom up here that's holding all of this uh, in place and that's just holding the string in place and you can kind of just force it through it's just providing a little bit of friction so it doesn't fall down on its own but you can just slide these things around and there's plenty of of cord here so you can get that to come all the way down to the ground and you can actually kind of just slip it just outside of the castle walls as well if you want to do a, a rescue that way now with that bird cage kind of thing out of the way i want to point out something else that i found very interesting and completely unexpected you see those wooden stairs back there well they're assembled in kind of a, a strange way that you you would only understand if you're putting the thing together but there's a special hidden feature there check this out the whole thing slides in the whole staircase disappears slides into the main castle area all that open space underneath and that unveils this removable wall now you could use your your crane up above that's currently used for the the prison cell it just has a hook on the end of it you can take the, the little birdcage thing off it and then connect that here to the top and then pull up this wall and that exposes a hidden secret room now there's nothing in there you could store some of the weapons that are included with the set but it's intended to be a a secret treasure storage space so if you've got any extra stuff from other sets that you can consider to be treasure or even non playmobil stuff that you want to consider to be to be treasure or even for kids who want to hide their own personal valuables that's a great place to do it and it just all completely gets hidden away by this the staircase here i think that's really nicely integrated in there now these are the three figures that are included with the set on the left is the hawk knight's king in the center you get a nice knight and on the right just a more generic soldier where you can use however you want notice the the king has the special sword i guess you could see that as being a piece of treasure right there it's got kind of gem elements in it looks really nice all of these figures i think look really good for the the hawk knights for this year and the the uh, knight in the, the center has that huge plume attached to the top of his helmet and he's got a thing that kind of looks like a, a lance here but it's being used as a, a flagpole in this case that he can use to to carry the colors along 
as he rides out into battle. And even even the, the simplest guy over here, I think, looks pretty good because he's got the uh, the plates on the front that are that are metallic. You can see it's got that metallic sheen to it. it also looks like he's got armor for or bracers, I guess, for for his forearms and also the extra little clip on pieces. You can store weapons. This guy's got the ability to clip something onto the back. You also have a quiver that's included with with the king. That's by default. They, they wanted you to, to connect connect that there. And the the knight actually right now has this large shield on, which is specifically designed to be used when he's riding horseback. So they do include one horse with the set and has an, an armor set of its own. This horse just has the ability to, to move the head up and down, no other articulation to it. But it fits the knight even with all this bulky armor and the big, uh, the big shield and everything fits on there just fine. And there you can see how that fits around to the side. Looks pretty good. Maybe you could spin it around the other way. I don't know. Oh yeah, I also want to show you what his face looks like because you can bring the, the mask up. You can see he's got good protection for his neck right up to his chin, but then just a regular classic Playmobil face. Here's a quick look at all of the figure accessories, the, the weapons and the, the shields as well, all together, including the ones that you just saw on the figures, as well as the couple of things that I had previously stored kind of down in the, the dungeon section. Got a crossbow here also and some, some long weapons, a couple of swords in total, a, a nice little range, but not too much extra stuff. All things considered, I really feel like this is a fantastic castle set. I love the design of the castle how much play value it has, as well as just visual, again, the visual interest with all the, the different shapes. And yet they fully enclosed the thing. And here's another thing that you're not gonna see by just looking at this, but I can tell you, this castle is built sturdy. You can actually pick the whole thing up as one and it doesn't feel wonky at all. It doesn't start to want to shift around. It does that at the expense of modularity, I think. It doesn't use as many of the, the regular plain System X little yellow and red connectors as the previous generation of, of Castle, at least the, the, the last generation Knight, uh, excuse me, Lion Knight Castle that I reviewed some months before this video. Not the 2015 version, but the one before that. So more of this, I think, needs to go together in specific ways but they do still have some System X, System X connections in there. And they've actually done a lot of the, the structure through the walkways. The wooden walkways inside of the thing are actually tied together on the undersides using old style of, of railway uh, track tie pieces that were previously used to, to hold different sections of tracks together. And they actually connect things together and it just provides a lot of of strength and durability that, that makes it great to be able to move this thing around or even just to, to spin it around without having to, to worry about anything falling apart. So nicely constructed. I think it looks good from every angle too. It really doesn't have any bad angles where it looks boring. It has a good amount of, of space, but not too much open unused spa space without even adding other things into it. I just think it's, it's really well designed. That's it for my look at this set. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you will please share your thoughts about this set, what you think about it by leaving a comment down below. It's always very much appreciated and I will be reviewing many more Playmobil things to come. So I'll be talking to you again very soon.